section of our notes for database management systems, we're looking at relational algebra. So far in the notes that are in the playlist link below the like button, we have our requirements, going to an ER diagram, which goes to a relational model, we use mapping for this, and then we're going to translate this into SQL, which is like our code. Now we're not going to SQL yet, we're going to first be talking about relational algebra. A relational algebra is a set of operations for the relational model. Based on these sets, we have no duplicate values. So we know sets have no duplicate values in them for this. We want to enable a user to specify basic retrieval requests. This is for our query. The algebra operation produces new relations. So we are going to have some big database and then we have the user input. They want certain things and then our algebra is going to produce those things. The result of a retrieval is a new relation. A sequence of relational algebra operations from form a relational algebra expression. So our, this result is going to be a relation and this represents the result of a database query. Some topics that we're going to be going over for a relational algebra is select, project, union, intersection, minus, Cartesian product, join, and natural join. So this is just an introduction to our database management systems relational algebra. Next, we're going to look at the select operation, and then we're going to do some examples. That'll be in the playlist, link below the like button, this is the very next video.